Hello everybody and welcome to this Tech and Trains channel video. In this video I will be doing a detailed review of the Batman Class 150 in Arriva Trains Wales livery. This is the older version of the Class 150. So let's get started. I'm just going to start at the end of the train and as you can see the running number is 15256 and on this end of the train you can probably just about read it says Cardiff Central right there. The detail on this on this end of the train and the other end of the train is amazing. You can see there's small dotting around here and the all of these bits fitted onto the end which you can see the handrails they look like they have been separately fitted and they properly stand out from the thing from the body shell as well as the windscreen wipers or the screen wipers whatever you want to call them they stand out from the body shell as well they're not fitted on like Hornby models and Hornby tend to do if we just swivel the camera around here the destination plate over here is blank like it should really be and then you've got the lights here and I fitted it with the London Midland class 350 um, coupling because fortunately this model has the same coupling at the end of the trains like normal Batman models so you can easily couple it up to anything including another class 150 if you wanted to. If I look inside the cab you can just about see the cab um, like dials and stuff all in there but if you can see there's like the cab bit and then there's like this black box that comes in and that black box thing extends through the whole motor carriage. This is a bit annoying, well it's not a bit annoying, it is really annoying because it just makes it look just under detailed when you compare it to the carriage right next to it which has seats all the way down but yeah even though this doesn't have any seating or interior detail it does have amazing exterior detail for example these hazard lights which I can just about zoom in on you can just about see the buttons which open the doors you can see the no smoking signs on the windows and you can see the um, side light that will light up when this train has the doors open or the guard door is open and then you can go down here uh, I think this one I managed it was I got this pre-owned so some of the um, exterior details have been slightly rubbed off as you can see the um, door opening button has been rubbed off these are uh, obviously since they're exterior detailed these are extremely liable to being rubbed off so for this unit because it is so well detailed you have to take a lot of care when detailing it or doing anything to it basically cleaning it all that stuff and then you can just move down here and you can see the logo nicely done and the door opening button if it will focus the guard's door nicely done as well there's also good lot of detail down under the chassis I would like to mention that this, if this was a Hornby train it would be very different it would not have I feel that if this was a Hornby train it would simply not have the detail or if it did it would be like £500 or something ridiculous like that but as you can see there's some nice bit of detail the, um, the bit where you stand on to go in the train is very well detailed just probably just about see it's got lines on and all that stuff and if you go down to the bogey this is it's got some colour added to it but it is not does not have the webbed effect a bit like the class 350 I feel this looks slightly more plasticky compared to some back model, like models but for the price it's pretty good if you move along the train you can see there's a the detail there and 
can see the decals down here. Those are this bit is very very well detailed over here because you've got that bit there. You've got all the decals which you could probably, if you got a microscope, read on backbone trains. Whereas Hornby trains, they just tend to stick something that looks relatively like it. And on the undercarriage of the train, you have, of course, all of the detail. This is not printed onto a side of plastic. This is actually physically there. Well, I mean, not printed onto a side of plastic. If you look at uh, Hornby Class 156, for example, that's what I mean. But this is a completely opposite of that. They've done really well to fully do the details, and it looks really realistic. And... Just seeing on camera, I'm discovering more details every second, like, I think there's a bit of writing down there or something. And there's something more around there. So this is extremely detailed, I'll just give you a run through. It would be nice to have a bit of a wearing effect to take away the plasticky feel. But overall, they have done really well on reproducing the motor co coach. If you had seats through the majority of the train, it would be... A very very well done model. I must say that when I opened this up to check on the motor when it was running badly I noticed that it wasn't just the motor that spread throughout the whole entire car carriage it was the circuit board as well. This, For some reason this model has quite a complicated cir circuit board which is something you don't generally get in Hornby trains but this is a Batman train so it's better generally so the circuit board stretches all the way down the carriage and this model is fitted with a DCC 21 pin plug. Now I got mine an, an analogue or DCC ready but I opened it up to see why it was running badly and it seemed to have a DCC chip in it. So that was one, so this is one train I don't need a DCC chip if I ever come around to DCC chipping my layout. I have seen this exact train with the exact running number in real life and I must say this is a very good reproduction of it. There are, There is nothing I can see which should be any different than it should be. If I give you a quick tour of the roof, this is just a plain plastic roof. If there was anything to improve on this model, it would be here in the it would be here or of course the seats inside as you can see it is reasonably detailed it is generally the roof is no more detailed than any train really so you don't really normally get much detail on the roof unless of course there's a pantograph if i move to the middle of the train this bit has is also very well detailed like the front. It has all the decals which you could probably read. Now, the coupling on this train. This train has a relatively similar coupling, if not the same, to a Backman Class 350. Now, when I bought this and got it tested, it took the people on the test track about 10 minutes to uncouple this one coupling. I must say it is very fiddly, so don't expect to have to to take this train off the track every month or so. You've got to leave it on on the track because trust me, you will not want to uncouple this train every time you use it because it's hard, and because it's hard, something will break at some point. So anyway, moving back to the detail, you have a reasonably well de detailed bit here for the exhaust pipe now you can probably uh, focus on camera you can see all the small tiny bits of detail and it's basically just copied the same to the other side right, so now we've done the left carriage I will move on to the right carriage so moving on to the right carriage all the exterior details are basically identical to show you the full length of the train as you can see there's nothing really different about this from this except for one ob obvious thing this one has seats inside so as you can see the seats are well replicated 
Um, the only thing that could be done with the seats is, of course, to paint them. But this model looks so nice, it's not worth the... No, I don't feel it's worth the risk. So, as you can go down the train, you can see everything is basically, basically the same. The seats inside this bit are basically the same. And then you have the tube-like seating down here. And the driver's cab. Which I wonder if I can get the camera to show. I'm not sure how well detailed the driver's cab is because you can't very well actually see into it. On this end of the train there is the the destination plate shows Shrewsbury. So this train obviously is in a River Class 150 going between Shrewsbury and Cardiff Central. I just about see through the door there into the cab. The lighting on this train is standard for a Batman model. I think they're filament bulbs, they're certainly not AL LEDs and they come on like that. This model has the yellow slide or indicator lights, whatever you want to call them. And basically it's just got directional lighting, which is standard for a Batman model. Um, there, there are starting to be more models that have interior lighting. It's better than you can sometimes get from a Hornby model, i.e. the Class 156. If I was to pick out anything about this whole model, it would be my main problem, which is no seats in this carriage. Then it's not an excuse, because all the wheels drive, to have no seats. It just may take bit more effort from Batman. I know on the recent versions of the Class 150 they have fixed this and instead they have seats throughout the whole train or most of it. Overall I give this model a 10 out of 10 or maybe a 9 out of 10 on exterior detail and 5 out of 10 on interior detail because only one carriage has it and I'd say I give it a 7 out of 10 on running. I have noticed with this model that the pickups on this particular model are very annoying. They're not the standard type of pickup that I'm used to from Hornby trains or some Batman trains e e either. They have pickups that kind of like fit to the axle. And the axle is split in half, so you have power on one side and power on the other. But I find that these can clog up, can clog up easily with dirt, and you get a train that does not run very smoothly. There are many complaints online about this train running, running badly. For for me, this I had exactly the same problem, and it took a lot to fix. Literally, I had to um. Because the pickups fit directly to the wheel and axle, I had to I had to put some cleaning liquid in them and run them for about fifteen minutes to get to get the dirt out. And even then, I didn't get all of it out because you literally can't take the pickups off to clean them. They don't come away, so the dirt just builds up in there, and you can't get to it. Overall, this model I feel is a highly detailed model, but could just be improved in a few simple ways. So overall, I give this model about 85%, but I really do like this model. And when it runs well, it could be given a 95%. Sometimes you don't even notice the missing interior detail in one of the carriages. Thank you for watching this Tech and Trains channel video. If you want to see the short review of the train, please use the link that I will hopefully put at the end of this video. So please comment, like, and subscribe. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.